trying to see if he has... I can't tell. I don't think he has irises and pupils sculpted, which is good, because I kind of think I want to have this be the money shot and have him looking directly at us. So we'll have his eyes cocked over towards the camera here. This direction. Let's paint some eyes. I'm going to do it the right way. We're going to paint the eyes before we paint the rest of the model. <laughs> what? How dare you? Is it going to be another golden gorilla? When have we painted a golden gorilla? Oh, you mean like, uh, um, Ilther. Where the hell is Ilther, by the way? Holy hell. You mentioned a model. I don't know where the model is. Oh, I bet he's over in that case over there. No. No, we're not going to do him like orange haired or anything. I don't, I don't think. I think I want to go with like black, you know, like, like silverback. You know, kind of blackish, whatever. I think I'm going to do the grayish silver mechanics on his on his back there. I don't know about the, the mohawk, though. Maybe red, like a red metallic, like a deep kind of, you know, blood red metallic mohawk would be kind of cool. Is that too Marvel Cinematic Universe, though? I don't know. We'll play around with it and see. I'm open. The Yondu red mohawk was kind of... That was what I was thinking. I wasn't thinking in terms of Yondu, but as soon as I said red mohawk, I'm like, oh, is that too... Is that too much? Is that too... Paint the eyes first. That way you can be messy. Paint the eyes last and hate yourself forever. Kind of the way that works, right? Much easier to paint the area around the eyes after the fact. To dial them back in. And to try to sneak all this into the eyes after you got the face all painted. And on a model of this size, it's worth, worth doing it this way. 28 millimeter models, eh, who cares? Honestly, who cares? Doesn't matter. Uh, let's get some olive flesh if I have it out here. An awkward man stare? Sure. Like big bul he doesn't have big bulgy eyes like, like uh, or, or like dad, angry dad eyes sculpted on him though. Maybe he does. He's kind of angry dad eyes sculpted. Kind of like, what the? Whose bright idea was this? But a dark gray first, or a warm gray first, then olive flush. Right. Then I'll dial the uh, the irises and the pupils in, and then we'll shade and highlight everything. But starting with a little bit of a darker color, um, and then going in with a brighter color, but don't use white on your eyes, please. If you're going to use white on eyes, the scale needs to be pretty big, and the white just needs to be the highlight of the, like, sclera, you know, with the wetness highlight on it. Try not to paint with white. Uh, I would go bright ivory as kind of my brightest color in most cases. Uh, as a matter of fact, let's do that right now. Let's do a little bit of bright. I don't think so, though. Because, again, I'm going to have his, uh, his eyes facing the camera, so I'm not going to have a whole lot of uh, uh, brightness to our, to our right, his left, right? Because the... The pupils and everything are going to go all the way to the edge of the eye here in order to be looking back at us. So all the way to the tear duct on the right eye, all the way to the outside of the uh, pinch of the eye on the left. Um, 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 um. Does he want colored eyes? He kind of, I mean, he kind of does. They're not really huge, but we could do colored eyes. Brownish, goldish, brownish. Brownish, goldish, brownish, brownish, goldish. I have dark golden brown right here. Is that good? We're doing that. <laughs> We're doing that. You can tell I'm uh, I'm real concerned with color. 
just use what's right in front of us. What's within reach? I have lots of colors within reach, but we're using the ones that are literally right in front of us. Okay. Ugh. Ugh. Like that. When you're looking off to a hard angle, you'll hide more of the iris on the eye away from it, the subject and let more of the iris show uh, towards the subject because the, the iris will disappear into the tear duct area quicker than the one on the outside of the sclera just because of the shape of the eye. In most cases. I don't know about gorilla eyes, but that's what we're going with. That's what we're going with, man. Perfect. I need a little bit darker color on, around the outside of that. So let's get some black brown. Mini pie, like hazel. Is hazel like kind of like golden brown? I don't know. I don't know my eye colors. My eyes like change colors, so I don't ever pay attention. I have mood eyes. Depends on what mood I'm in as to what my eye color is. I should have done this first. I probably should have done a darker backdrop on the eye first and then put the uh, dark golden brown in it rather than trying to be an idiot and trace the iris to the darker like I'm looking now. Not too shabby though. Not too bad. All right, and then I think maybe warm yellow to mix in with the uh, the dark golden brown. I don't know if we'll get enough orange out of that, but it seems fun. Kind of like jaundice piss eyes. That's a horrible way to describe it, but <laughs> hey, Jason, you have a way with words. Usually very bad. Not really. This color. I'm looking for something like brown isn't as yellow. Black, where is it? Where is it, man? Who stole it? You think a glow like it's nighttime? 
A glow what? Like in the eyes? You want them painted plaid too? <laughs> yeah, he's plaid. Uh, transparent black works great for pupils if you don't thin it, right? Because it'll allow you to paint some of the coloring in on the eye like we've done here, and then just drop the the pupil kind of you know in the center or wherever it is you're looking to put it. Cockeyed. Okay. Down a little bit. Mucho better. Need a little bit of bright ivory. Again, not white. Try to stay away from white. Unless, I mean, we're painting white and we only use white at the highest highlight for the scratches and edges. Think of white that way in everything you do if you can. Try not to use it or find a, you know, a place where you feel like you have to use it as your primary color. Always leave it in your hip pocket so that white can be something you add when you absolutely need it. Because you can't add anything to brighten white up. Want just suit. Straddles the iris and the pupil. And second one's a little bit, but it might it might work. Yeah, it might work. A little bit more yellow up underneath. That's pretty good for now. That gets the bulk of it done. I might want to have to come back later and and uh, get rid of a little bit of that shine. Maybe do it now. Why wait? Damn it. Again, using the transparent black.
get that shine back a little bit on that other eye. Okay, and just another little pinprick of bright ivory in the gray over here, straddling. Well, I don't know that we'll straddle the, the iris here because that's a little close to what we already did. The idea is to get just a little pinprick of light to the outside of the eye here to break up the monotony. Like that. Not too shabby. Yeah, that works. I still think I need to find a little bit more pupil over here. Aha! There we go. Now we got some balance. That works pretty good. Now the only problem is we have to be very careful as we're painting the rest of the model to not completely screw up the eyes we painted. So there you go. Eyes. Ta-da. Easy. Raise your hand if now you're not afraid of eyes. F's in chat for everybody that's still afraid of eyes. <laughs> I'll type F in chat. I hate eyes. Everybody holding their breath. Is that why everybody's so quiet? Everybody's like, I, I can't, I can't talk right now, Fuse. I don't want to mess you up. Uh, I think one of you is slacking on the job because my trash is still full. You'd rather do eyes than skin, Mini Pie? Really? Well, we're about to do skin. <laughs> dark purple. Give me dark purple. I'm making a dark purple chimp. He's not a chimp. He's an ape. Chimps are apes. He's a gorilla. Eyes at 28 mil, nearly impossible. Yeah, a pain in the ass. Still doable, but a pain in the ass. I've shown you many times how to do the 28 millimeter eyes, and it's a different strategy where you do the, um, the dark color, the slash of light color in between it, then bisect it with your pupil color, and then cut in the eye. Your pupil winds up not being as round, but at 28 millimeter, you can't tell, right? That doesn't work as well with minis that at 28 millimeter have their eyes wide open like they're screaming or something because then the pupil needs to be floating in a sea of sclera um, or the iris in the sea of, you know, the eye color. Uh, but a, in a model like this where the eye is, you know, kind of squinted or whatever, it works a lot better. So um, I didn't put out near enough paint. What am I doing here? Still think I'm painting the eyes, trying to put out very little paint. You're having a conversation about eyes today. You love them. 2D digital canvas. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I don't have a problem with eyes when we're doing them, you know, when I'm like painting two-dimensionally or things like that. Then it, it becomes a lot, um, a lot easier to make that happen, right? Uh, I am going to, though, cut the eyes in with burgundy as well. But at 28 mil, you just don't have enough space to get the detailing. Like, you know, this is, it, whatever this is, 70, I don't remember. What is he, 150 mil? He's a big guy, but he's just a bust, right? So being able to do eyes at, at this scale is a little bit easier because you can get the shine that gives you the wet look on the eyeball, which is, is part of what gives the, sh the, the eye its dimension. Otherwise, it's just a circle floating inside an oval. And, and you got to be careful with that. You can get, now the bigger it is, the more color you can get into the iris. You can get some really spectacular uh, threading. Of the iris because there's like that that texture that weaving of um of fibrous nature to the iris that's really cool 
Uh, and so the larger the scale, the cooler the things you can do. Um, this scale's about as, as small as you can get, you know, color detail to work and, and still feel like, you know, it makes sense. I could probably, if I had better vision, I could get in there and do some, some light texturing to the eyeball, but that ain't me. That ain't me, son. That ain't what we do here. All right. Get the uh, numer dose. Oh, fine. You're leaving me too, huh? You're leaving me too. Deserters, all of you. Everything locked up? Okay, cool. Have a wonderful evening. Tell the kiddo hi. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Now I'm officially alone on a Tuesday. Rat bastards. This is that scary part I was talking about where you got to go in and put the eye back in. They're just going to paint him a mask around the eye. The only real detailing here is making sure the color runs up to the, the sclera along the edge of the eye. Lids. But how it comes out from there is kind of not irrelevant. But... Wow, turning the model upside down really screwed up view of this thing. Boom. Mask. Eyes are cut back in, so now they're more defined. Space Gorilla. Huff, what's happening, man? This is Enzo. Space Gorilla. He just like giving hugs. Long walks on the beach. Now we cut it back in to where we just have a little bit of the burgundy right around the eyelid. And that's all gonna depend, like how much of the burgundy you leave is all gonna depend on species.
There you go. Now the eyes look a lot more like eyes.